Guess what, folks? <coughs> Coming up Monday night on this program, Queen Latifah is going to be with us. Also, Carol Channing and musical guest Seven Mary Three. So watch that show. It's a good one. All right, folks. Mary Louise Parker's coming up in just a bit, but first, Andy, I understand you have another installment of Lakewood yes. for us tonight. Is that yes, right? Yes, I do. All right. Um, for those of you who don't know, uh, this Lakewood is a project that I started a while ago. Mm -hmm. um, I sensed there was sort of a, a void in the marketplace, as it were, uh, in television, and there's yeah. a, a segment of the population that they, their needs weren't being addressed okay. by regular television. So, at, and specifically, I'm talking about the gay community. Okay. So I thought... Why not a soap opera? A soap opera for the gay community. Right. I yes. mean, with, with gay characters. And it's not, you know, a, a gay soap per se. Mm -hmm. It's just about a group of people who live in a town called Lakewood who just happen to be gay. Very nice. Yeah. It, this sounds like a great money-making scheme yeah. and a good social project. All right, let's mm -hmm. take a look at uh, these clips from Lakewood. Enjoy. Are you home early? I was watching that. Look, we have to talk. About what? About you. About this pigsty of an apartment. About us. You say you want to talk, but instead it's a lecture. And believe me, I've heard it all before. Damn it, Jason. I will not be ignored. How very dramatic. You know, I'm sick of this. All this. You've let yourself go to hell, and I don't want to be around to see it anymore. What are you trying to say, Philip? We have to face facts. We had a lot of fun in the beginning, but the love has gone out of this relationship, and... And what, Philip? And I want a divorce. Oh, what a charming little speech, Philip. It's a shame it's just all a load of crap, though. He finally got to you, didn't he? The little bimbo you've been fooling around with for so long, he finally gave you an ultimatum, hmm? Don't talk about Adam that way. All right, you want a divorce? Fine, you got it. But I'm gonna take you for every penny you got. The the chat has developed is so revolutionary that uh, we feel you'll make your money back within the first year. Well, this is all very impressive. You two must be very excited. Well, we will be if we can just find someone to give us money and get this thing off the ground. And we know it's going to be a success. And then Chad can quit that dead-end job he's in now. And we can finally start building a real future together. <sighs> I, I don't know. It's uh, quite a substantial sum of money. Hey, look, uh, why don't, I, why don't I go get us some more coffee? Now, he is really something. Hmm? So supportive. Well, I would have given up this crazy scheme years ago if it weren't for Donald. Well, a man can move mountains with a man like that behind him. <laughs> yes. Now, what do you say, Mr. Bauer? We are prepared to give you 50% ownership in this company. I don't want ownership in the company. But I will give you the money. As a loan? But I... No, 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 no. As payment. Payment? Payment for what? I, I don't understand. I'll give you one million dollars in exchange for one night with your husband. It's really very simple, Philip. A number of very influential friends are very interested in keeping Perez out of court so that he can't testify against them. One way of accomplishing that is making sure that he doesn't come out of that coma. In other words, you want me to kill Perez? That's an unpleasant way of putting it, but yes, they want you to kill him. But remember, they're prepared to make it very much worth your while. This is murder we're talking Come about. On, get a hold of yourself and keep your voice down. All you have to do is go in that room and pull the plug on Perez. 
And then it's off to Tahiti, darling. Just you and me and a big pile of money. But, but what if I get caught? You won't. I have arranged it so that all the blame will fall on that cow, Nurse Emerson. Okay, so maybe everybody will think that Emerson did it, but, but Emerson will still know he's innocent. Oh, please. He'll never be able to talk his way out of it. He's far too stupid. <laughs> uh, nobody calls me stupid. project, Andy. Thank you. Lakewood gets better and better every thank time. Thank you, thank you. All right, folks, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Mary Louise Parker will be here. Stick around.